Thanks for attending this brief presentation of how to read window film specs. We're going to present a couple different places where you'll see window film specs for edge film technologies. We'll also help you look through or sift through this long list of specs and understand which are the ones that should be conversational. Which are the ones that should be tip of your tongue, ready to discuss, versus which you might say, uh, you know, let me look that up. Uh, because some are more frequently referenced, more important when comparing products, and some may offer the specification to be more well-rounded, more complete, but it may not be day-to-day, everyday, every conversation content. So let's get started. The first thing you may ask is, okay, window film specifications, but I've got these marketing materials and these lists and things. And, how do I know what you mean when you say window film specifications? Where can I find them? And the first place you'll find them is on what we call our specification card folders. These are the plastic folders with a circular window in the front. They hold a film sample and that packet together gives the customer a visual perspective on the film by having the film inside as well as a technical perspective of the film by having the specifications writ written on it. The first one here is an example of an automotive film. It has these particular six lines of specificity. The next one is a solar control film. You'll notice that vertically, as you look through this list, the specifications toward the end are different. What you also notice is that you have a second column of data. This second column, this column for double pane windows is unique to solar films. Our third example is going to be a safety film specification card folder. And you see here again, as you go down the list, these lists, these items toward the bottom are different than the previous two. So this is one place where you might find a list of specifications for a product on edge films. Another place you might find a list of specifications for edge films is what we call our fan deck. It's a book of film samples, four inches by seven inches approximately, and has a screw post in the corner so you can fan through the samples. A little different presentation graphically, but this is the same list of specifications, automotive, architectural, and security film. So this is the second place where you might find a list of product specifications. When we look at all of those product specifications together and we consider this comprehensive list of all the specs from all the different locations, we see this list on the left of all of the specifications listed on those different product cards. Let's take our first slice at this apple by separating all of these specifications into one of two categories. The first is going to be appearance, and this is what in this specification gives me an idea of what this film looks like? The performance category, on the other hand, is what in this specification tells me what this product's going to do or how it's going to perform. So first cut of the apple is some of these are performance, some of these are appearance. For the sake of this discussion, we're going to cut this list down and take another slice at this apple with this slide. Initially, you saw previously, we separated this list into what effects or what is a specification that can be used to determine the performance of a product or versus the appearance of a product. And those columns are still listed. What we're going to do now, though, is look at the long list of specifications and, and ask the question, are there some that that we really need to have on, on the tip of our tongue, that we need to have a conversational understanding of these specifications versus some that they're there, we need to know them, we need to know where to go to find the definition if we need it, but they're not as important in the day-to-day -day understanding of how edge products compare to others and how they can be compared in a meaningful way with other products that explain the value of edge performance. As you might think, well, I know the most important specs. That they're the specs that are on everything. I just saw where 
different film types have different lists of specs, so the most important specs must be those that are on everything. And in some cases, that's true. Visible light transmission, visible light reflection is on everything or in security film, almost everything, because it's an important characteristic of what the film will look like. The, the next two, solar heat gain coefficient and total, total solar energy rejected, those two things are they're, they're opposite sides of the same coin you might see in a moment, but they're a very important characteristic of the performance of every film in the edge line. Contrast that to infrared rejection, which is only published on automotive spec cards because it is most important to the automotive customer. Many IR films are not appropriate on architectural glass, so we publish the infrared rejection only on the automotive film. And the last part of this list, these three test methods, we'll explain what they are in a moment, are only present on security films because in offering and selling edge security films, these are the three important test methods that people want to know about. So looking at this list, we have cut this list down performance versus appearance, and then we've cut it down further based on our understanding and our knowledge of what can help you present, offer, and sell edge security films and edge safety films and edge automotive and decorative and solar films against others in the market. Now that we've been able to break this long list into two lists, one being the focus specs, those those specs that should be conversational. You should have these and understand these without having to reference to the definitions. The first being visible light transmission. That's just the percentage of total visible light passing through a glazing system. The next is visible light reflectance. We'll use the exterior visible reflectivity for this because many times, most times possibly, the specification only lists visible light reflectance and if that's the case it's the exterior visible reflectivity. The third the solar heat gain coefficient is the percentage of solar energy incident on the glass that is both transferred indoors directly and indirectly directly meaning transmitted and indirectly meaning solar heat is absorbed by the glass and then radiated into the room. The solar heat gain coefficient takes into account both of those to give you the net solar energy transferred indirectly and directly through the glass. Compare that to the total solar energy rejected, it's everything that the SHGC is not. It's the percentage of total solar energy rejected. So the SHGC and the TSCR, those things, if you add them up, they always add up to one because the, the solar heat incident on the window is either transferred inside or rejected outside. The infrared radiation is that portion of the solar radiation defined as infrared that is rejected by that film to glass combination. The last two are, are actually not specifications in and of themselves, they're test methods. The first one being the American National Standards Institute ANSI Z97 is a glass and glazing safety standard that will have a category A, category B, two different test results, but the ANSI Z97 is the test standard. The Consumer Protection Safety Council, some may say is a, is a more rigorous, a more difficult test, but is still just a glass and glazing safety standard, has category one and category two test results. These are the focus specs that we think are going to be the most frequent conversation points for you and for your customers as you compare and contrast the benefits of edge products over other branded products. The more simple perspective on these specs is listed here. V VLT is how dark is it? If, if something has a VLT of 10%, the transmitted light is 10%. It's darker than something that has a VLT of 70%, where the transmitted light is 70%. The VLR, or the visible light reflectance, is a measure of how shiny is it. The next two are measures of how much heat does it block. 
Infrared rejection is how effective is that heat blocking specifically in the IR region. And the last two will, will be in this conversation of tempered glass ratings or safety glass ratings. That's where you're going to go to see when your customer asks about that. These are the test method, methods that are going to help you determine that. Now we're into the, quote, other specs. See, these are not irrelevant or they wouldn't be on the specification cards. But it's probably more likely that if you don't remember these or the definition of these, just press the pause button and go look at the glossary because these will come up, but just not as frequently as the others. The first one being interior visible reflectivity. Some products have a different reflectivity inside and out. Those are called dual reflectives. If you have a product like that, you're going to need to know interior visible reflectivity. Shading coefficient and solar heat gain coefficient are just ratios one of another in the end. And so we didn't include it in the focus specs because the shading coefficient is going to go just as the solar heat gain coefficient goes. The solar absorption is how much energy does the glass absorb with the film on it. U value is a measure of thermal conductivity. You, you know of R value and insulation in your home walls. U value is it's the inverse of that. It's how much does the heat conduct through the window and lower in this case is better. It's an important measure, but we don't include it because it's only really an improvement with the low E film. UV rejection is similar to the IR rejection, but in the UV region, how much UV radiation is rejected? Again, this is important, but all the edge films are over 99%. So it's not a big comparison with the UV rejection. Film thickness and the last two, you can read through those. Those again are important measures of safety films, uh, but they'll be something that if you need to, you can refer to them offline. Like the previous slide, we can simplify these specifications. The VLR interior is how shiny is it inside? Shading coefficient, like solar heat gain coefficient, is how much heat does it block? The specification of solar absorption is a question that we answer with the context of, is this absorption of this film on this glass going to cause the glass to break? The U value, will it cause my single pane glass to act like double pane glass? UV rejection, although UV is only responsible for about 40% of fading, when people ask about fading, they really want to know about this UV rejection. Of course, film thickness. And then the next one is, will the film, or at what point, under what stress, will the film break? And at what point, under what stress, will the film stretch irreversibly? These are all important, but they're not as important as the focus specs. This slide is just to remind you that we started with a visual understanding of what do you have in your marketing playbook, in your marketing materials that, that is covered under this concept of specification? What do they look like? Just, just a reminder of what those specifications look like in the edge marketing material. And if you have any questions about this or anything else, please do email us at training at programedge.com. Thanks for coming.